yes hello everyone welcome to our next famite video tutorial now guys for this episode i'm gonna actually um show you or tell you what is um dfs as it relates to um five gigahertz bandwidth or channels frequency in terms of um wireless signal now we have a lot of persons out there who are using a line of product that is known as U U ubiquity now the good thing about this um brand or the products that this company manufacture is that they actually um, give you an idea as to the channels that are actually put aside or set aside for radars for weather or for military equipment now these channels they are different in different parts of the world now persons might be wondering what is dfs now it actually stands for dynamic frequency selection so in your country for example the military might want to use let's say for example 5550 in terms of that channel so um, this product that i'm using it is one of the ac sector panel um, device so let's click on the frequency listing there now the channels that you are not seeing DFS beside that simply mean that once you click on these channels click on save now all the client devices that you have on it they will actually access that channel right away now in terms of you choosing DFS channel I'm gonna choose a DFS channel now for example click on save now I would have already right I would have already choose that one now as you can see the channels basically disappear there I just want to show you that once you click on a DFS channel it's supposed to scan for about 60 seconds I'm gonna click on another one because I would have chose that channel already that means it would have identified I realized that that channel is not being used right here go guys so as you can see DFS waiting so it is counting down 60 seconds so approximately 62 seconds there about it actually scan so what this um, access access point is doing is that it is actually scanning to see that if these if this channel is available so it is doing what is known as a availability check so let's say for example um, some military device or weather with uh, radar device is using this channel then this access point not gonna allow any device to communicate with it on this particular channel so once you you're trying to change um, the channel with your device and if you choose a DFS channel then it will always take approximately um, one minute to actually connect to this to the device and this channel simply because it will be doing what is known as a availability check so the check complete so let's give it like for example a few seconds one to ten seconds there about 15 seconds there about to see if it's gonna actually um connect so it would have just complete the availability check so again guys the difference between you choosing a dfs um channel and another one is that it's gonna take approximately anywhere between one to two minutes 
to allow the different stations to connect to the access point because as I said before you have to check for the availability of that channel or if you want to see frequency so I'm still waiting on it to see if we're gonna allow any of those stations to connect right now normally I have six stations connecting to this access point so actually picked up five so far so as you can see guys it now allow the different stations to connect to it so that simply mean that this channel is available so once again guys um this video just tutorial just giving you an idea or what it mean by dfs dynamic frequency selection in terms of five gigahertz wireless signals so once again guys if you're new to my youtube channel please remember to click on the subscription button of course leave your comments in the comment section of the video and of course share the video so once again guys um thanks again femitech is out of here